The Back to Business Breakfast with the Prime Minister is an essential event where the public and private business community can meet, talk and share on what must be done to achieve positive growth in PNG. Today was the sixth time the business community was addressed by James Marape as Prime Minister at the 11th Prime Minister's Breakfast hosted by the Business Council of PNG and supported by Kina Bank. The Treasurer's 14-year fiscal repair strategy is the flagship of the Marape Rosso's economic stability. Covering reforms in the fiscal and monetary space, the intent is clear. Configure a stable economic policy that drives economic development, and the reactions in the markets have been mixed. In his keynote address, Prime Minister James Marape recognised and thanked the private sector for their efforts in contributing to the economy. The Prime Minister then elaborated to those in attendance on how the government does its job of supporting the growth of the private sector and what the business community must do in collaboration for nation building. Marape then urged businesses to be optimistic and gave the reason why. Be optimistic. You're in a growth country. Our economy will conti continue to grow into the future as we stick to the path we took back PNG and placed it on, a path that is free from corruption, a path that is an opportunity, has equal opportunity for everyone. This was the place we were before 2018. And we took it back from the ugly hands of corruption and personal interest. We have now placed it on the road where I believe all of you in business space and our citizens will have a fair opportunity. Prime Minister Marape stressed that for 2023, his government is investing in education, health, law and order and infrastructure, key enablers for economic development. The Prime Minister also alluded to the exciting times ahead when he spoke on the five big projects that are earmarked to push the economy over 200 billion kina, but did not give specific dates on when these projects will start. All these are coming around in the first half of this year, I hope that substantial progress is made in these five projects. This will deliver to our economy a uh, big uh, uh, movement in as far as our economic life is concerned. And I want to give an encouragement to each and every one of you in the business sector, in the financial sector, in the support sector. These five big projects, once moved in the next 10 years, will move our economy like never before. Prime Minister Marape has urged the business community to remain optimistic. Despite the five and a half inflation forecast, the Prime Minister has also promised continual dialogue, which will now happen quarterly, headed by the Treasurer Ian Lynn Starkey. Rocky Iso, National MTV News.